Post-pandemic shopping habits have propelled ultra-fast fashion apps Timu and Shein to the top of the e-commerce world, especially among younger, budget-conscious consumers. Analysts say it's causing major turbulence in the air cargo industry. The volume of Shein and Timu has skyrocketed in the last year to two years. And because of that, they're taking up a significant volume and capacity of air cargo. And it's becoming a big problem for everybody else. Temu and Shein both offer rock bottom prices and a dizzying array of choice. Trendy clothing and goods mostly manufactured in China and shipped to North America. A 2023 report by the U.S. Congress shows the two brands combined sent nearly 600,000 packages to the U.S. every day. Global News reached out to Timu and Shein, but did not receive a response by deadline. Year to date, we've had about a 200% increase in cargo carry. Last year this time, we were, had carried about 37 million pounds of cargo. This year is well over 110 million pounds of cargo. This week, the International Air Transport Association, whose members carry more than 80% of all air traffic, warned of an incoming tsunami of e-commerce growth in air cargo. Right now, one out of every five parcels has been purchased online and is set to become one out of every three by 2027. I don't think it's really sustainable. What's going to happen is I think this is the new normal. Retail analysts foresee the air cargo industry expanding capacity. For example, Amazon is leasing its own jets to meet rampant delivery demand. Shein is already expanding its warehouse capacity in Canada. Another, less likely possibility is that demand for goods made super quickly and cheaply may wane. Proponents of the slow fashion movement are trying to raise awareness of the environmental footprint and other hidden costs associated with this rising tide of so-called convenience consumerism. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.